Great. Hello and welcome to the first real session of our first annual Han and Miller Community Days. I'm Evelina and I'm responsible for the marketing communication um, at the mill regarding all fine art inkjet papers, whether it's digital fine art or everyday photo. As Carol already mentioned, if you have any questions, just type them in, in the F in a, a Q and A part, it's F and A in German, the Q and A part of uh, the Zoom installation or into the chat and we will answer them mean during the talk or I'll answer the questions right after the session or after I finish with my presentation. Just let me open my screen and share everything. Hope you see the presentation. Um, hope you're ready for 30 to 40 minutes full of information on our beautiful Han Müller Fine Art Collection and also a little bit on our everyday photo papers. Maybe you find out something about your favorite paper which you did not know before or you discover a new paper which you would like to try. We're gonna explain a little bit the differences between our collection and the everyday photo papers. And I think I'm gonna show you what I've prepared for the next couple of minutes. So the plan is to have a short history lesson in the beginning, just to understand the foundations of our popular Han and Müller inkjet papers. Then we're gonna take a really deep dive into the digital fine art collection, looking at every single paper and what makes it really, really unique. Afterwards, we're gonna take a short stop and uh, look at our everyday photo papers, just to see what's the actual difference between our digital fine art collection and them. And at last, we're going to see what else we are working on and preparing besides our beautiful papers. So you, the photographers, creatives, artists, or print studios have a full service when it comes to printing. So let's start with um, the history lesson. Our tradition started in 1584. Our company has a really, really rich and long company history. We've the mill was founded back in 1584 in the south of Lower Saxony and the Zolling Uphills, which is close to an environmentally protected area. And back then, it all started with handmade, mold made writing and foolscape papers. Later then, traditional artist papers were added and high purity photo papers were produced afterwards. Only in the late 1990s, the first inkjet papers were actually developed and they are based on traditional artist papers because traditional artists actually came to us and wanted to reproduce their art, maybe also to sell a little bit more. And soon after photographers discovered the papers for their art and I think we all know where we are now. Today, the digital fine art collection consists of 29 beautiful papers and canvases. It is highly awarded and the world market leading paper range. Galleries, museums, and collectors actually trust in the made in Germany papers. All our papers are manufactured according to old recipes from high quality fibers, alpha cellulose, or fast growing plant fibers, and of course, most importantly, pure spring water. The production is still located at the same location since 1584 and everything we do is with the highest quality and innovative spirit which we created from the beginning. All our papers are vegan, acid and linen free and again meet the highest standards for age resistance. Furthermore, because we did not stop there, all our papers are awarded as the brand of the century products and are available in more than 130 countries worldwide. So it's quite possible that wherever you are in the world, the shop nearby which carries photo supplies also has a box of Han and Mueller paper somewhere stored. As we are the inventors for fine art inkjet papers and printing or art productions, and as the pioneer and the world market leader, we're constantly refining our genuine artist papers for exclusive prints of photographs, digital art and art for productions to the highest standards. And on top of this, we're celebrating our 25th birthday of the Digital Fine Art Collection. We're celebrating what we've been working on for the last 25 years. So let's have a look what 
the digital fine art collection actually is. It's a comprehensive assortment of unique and high quality fine art inkjet papers created for you who are looking for something special and want to get the best out of their images. Achieving outstanding print results and having a high age resistance of over a hundred years makes our papers perfect for fine art applications, such as long-term exhibitions, art collections, or special editions. To comply with these high requirements, what we do is we use high quality and ultra pure artist papers as the paper bases and use specially manufactured natural wool felts to give the papers a special tactile feel that increase the sense of their value. Additionally, they add a free dimensionality that enhances the image effect beautifully and adds nice, incredible depth to it. On top of that, we added a premium inkjet coating that also results in impressive reproduction of color and detail, incredible contrasts, and deep black. With the Hahnemüller Digital Fine Art qualities, you can always rest assured that you achieve the same quality every time you print on it. Because our coatings and our inkjet papers have been developed over a number of years and are constantly tested and checked. We have a really, really broad selection of textures, surfaces, colors available in an array of sheets and roll sizes. Everything to you awarded. So let's get into it and see which papers are actually in it. Our digital fine art collection can be divided in three main categories. Met fine art papers, glossy fine art papers, and also canvas fine art papers. The matte fine art papers can then be divided in subcategories. They include smooth papers, texture papers, and our special natural line papers. What makes the fine art papers and the matte fine art papers, sorry, so special is that they mark the beginnings of the digital fine art collection. Some are still identical to today's artist papers and their unique textures again are thanks to special manufactured natural wool felts. One of uh, the very unique papers which we have in our smooth category is the rice paper. It's one of the lightest papers we have, has a super unique surface texture, is white and made of 100% alpha cellulose. Something for really, really special images. Our photorec paper is probably one of the most well-known papers in the whole collection. It is available in three different grammages, is 100% cotton and has a beautiful white tone to it, a really supple texture and fits a lot of different applications, whether you're printing wildlife, landscape, food, oh, what else is there, architecture, photoreg probably suits a lot of different photo genres. And because of this photoreg base paper, it's already so versatile, we decided to take a step further and create a whole line around this beautiful paper of our Mad Fine Art Smooth collection. For example, our Photorec book and album, based on the classic Photorec paper, again, 100% cotton paper, but is printable on both sides. Similar to the Photorec Dual paper, which is a little bit heavier, but also has the beautiful texture and the 100% cotton character. Another paper which does look familiar, but is still a little bit different is our Photorec Ultra Smooth. As the name already says, it's a really, really smooth texture. It's a little bit heavier than the other papers before, but again, 100% cotton and has beautiful white tones. When it comes to really, really bright Photorec papers, our Photorec Bright White is maybe what you're looking for. It's again, a little bit heavier than what we had before, but it's again, 100% cotton, super bright white and allows for beautiful contrast similar to what you can see on the image between white, black or dark colors in general. These are all the papers we have for our smooth surfaces, but our matte textured um, line has much more papers to offer. And these papers are actually much more related to the beginnings of our digital 
fine art collection. Hannah Müller, William Turner, for example, is one of the papers that has been in the collection since the beginning. It is a genuine mold made paper, white, has 100% cotton paper, is available in two different grammages, and is in the collection since the beginning. And up till now, there's still a similar paper in our traditional fine art range. So people, traditional artists, creatives could actually paint their image on one of our traditional artist papers and then reproduce their art on our William Turner. And it would look pretty much the same because the surface, the tactile feel, the grammages are really, really similar. Another one of our texture papers has also been with us in this collection from the beginning. It's Anne Müller Albrecht Dürer. It's not a 100% cotton paper, it's a mix. Oh, there's a mistake. It's a mix, it's a 50% cotton and 50% alpha cellulose paper. Again, a genuine mold made paper. A little bit lighter than the William Turner, but also a very, very unique texture. Hannah Müller Tushong is really something for someone who's looking for something that is really a little bit more unique. It's again, a little bit heavier. The order of the papers is from the lowest grammage to the highest grammage. So the Tuchon is a little bit heavier than the Albrecht Dürer, but it's bright white and it's made of 100% alpha cellulose. Something different. Um, our German etching is one of our most popular ones from our textured papers next to the William Turner. It is 100% alpha cellulose paper again and a genuine mold made paper. So something back from the early days. And last but not least, Hahnemüller Museum etching, the heaviest out of all our textured papers is again, 100% cotton paper, natural white, has beautiful supple texture compared to the other papers and is available similar to William Turner and Fodorek with hand torn deco edges. So torn on four sides and it's a specialty with the original look and feel of traditional artist papers. So if you like that paper, similar to William Turner or Fodorek, you can get it with hand torn edges. But our fine art paper range also includes four very, very special papers. They are the youngest additions to our um, mad fine art paper range, so to speak. Um, let's start off with Hannah Müller Bamboo. Hannah Müller Bamboo is the oldest paper in our natural line. Our natural line consists of papers which are made out of sustainable and environmentally friendly resources. And Hanami Le Bamboo is the world's first paper made out of 90% bamboo and 10% cotton. It's a beautiful natural white paper and it's been in the collection for a long, long time. And as we discovered that sustainability plays an important part for artists and creatives, we decided to take a step further and create a whole line around this paper, the Hanumula Bamboo paper. And that's where the natural line was born. So the first one is the Bamboo, followed by a really, really well-loved paper, all wildlife photographers, our Hanumula hemp paper. It consists of 60% hemp, 40% cotton, has a different white tone and a different surface texture than bamboo, of course, because it's a different resource material but still really, really supple, kind of smooth, but allows for creativity. That's why we also sponsored the Prince for Wildlife campaign the last two years with this paper, because the wildlife photographers loved that the paper gave them so much room to play for their images. And also our brand ambassador, P Arts, is a huge fan of it and uses it for most of his works, which he is um, producing. Another paper, which is a little bit the underdog of our natural line, is the Hanumula agave paper. It's really, really special. It has a 70% agave um, content and 30% cotton. Again, a 290 GSM paper, has a beautiful white tone. Something really you have to try and test. It fits also a lot of different photography styles. 
our latest paper edition for some countries, for some it's a reintroduction, it depends on where you are, is our honey sugar sugarcane. It's a little bit heavier than the other papers, but also has this beautiful natural white tone, natural feel to it, consists of 70% sugarcane, 30% cotton, and rounds of the first papers in the natural line beautifully. All four papers are actually awarded with the TIPO award and play an important role when it comes to our green boost initiatives. But you're going to hear a lot more about this in the session right after mine with Joe and Travis, and they're going to share all what we, there is about the natural and papers and products we have, not only from our digital finite inkjet side, but also from our digital papers. Next to our matte papers, we also have a huge selection of glossy fine art papers. This includes, for example, four glossy photorec papers. So again, 100% cotton papers based on the original photorec paper and four papers made out of 100% alpha cellulose. So these will be um, called fine art <laughs> papers, just so you understand why a couple are photorec and a couple are fine art. The gloss range extends from supple gloss to satin papers to mid luster, some pearly ones, but we also offer high gloss variety papers. Let's start and have a look what we have there. Kicking it off in our glossy fine art paper range is Hanimula Fine Art Pearls. As I mentioned, a fine art paper, 100% alpha cellulose. It's bright white, it has a nice pearly finish, really, really supple, and it's quite light compared to the other papers that will follow. Then the Hanimula Fine Art Barita Zetin, a little bit whiter, a satin finish, a little bit heavier, 300 GSM. And the specialty here is that there is barium sulfate within the inkjet coating. So making them a really, really nice alternative to analog Barita papers. In total, we have four inject papers with barium sulfate in their coatings, giving them the look and feel of traditional analog variety papers, which a lot of photographers do not want to miss when they're printing nowadays. So another super, super nice paper with a satin finish with some sabo gloss is the Photoreg Satin. It's a little bit heavier, again, 100% cotton, has really, really nice white tone, perfect for everyone who does not like the really, really high glossy paper, but needs a little bit something on their print. Then one of our most loved glossy papers and well-known glossy papers around the world, our Photoreg Barita. It's 100% um, cotton paper again, really high gloss finish, has the barium sulfate in the coating and is TIPO awarded, especially because it's so so special. It's based on the photorec paper from the matte line and has this really, really high gloss finish on it that a lot of images work beautifully on. Then, practically the same paper, but a little bit more natural white tone with a pearlier finish. Also beautiful for portraits. You can't see it right now because our sample print is a little bit cut, but we have a beautiful portrait printed on it. And it works for, again, different kinds of um, images. I personally like it a lot for portraits. It's just a different finish compared to the Photorec Barita. And again, it's also TIPA awarded, not as the whole of a range, but singularly because it's so outstanding. Another paper, which is bright white, so quite contrary to maybe what we've seen before and really, really high gloss again due to the the sulfate, oh God, in the coating and a lot more bright white, a little bit heavier as the fine art Barita. Really, really nice. We used it for an ocean image. Everybody finds one and this one is probably one. No, it's not the whitest one, but it's one of our whitest papers, which we have. Then one paper that a lot of people might have heard about and is really, really special in our collection is the Photorac Metallic. It's based on the Photorac from the matte um, range. So again, 100% cotton. It's pretty heavy compared to other um, papers in the glossy fine art range, 
But what makes it so, so special is the high gloss metallic finish. And this sophisticated silver metallic effect really underscores images and makes motifs with metallic elements, reflections, ice, glass, or architecture, and even landscape shots or black and white photographers with high contrast, contrast really, really pop. A beautiful paper, which I think a lot of people have to test because it's, some people are a little bit scared of, uh, afraid of the metallic, but just go ahead and do a test room because it might change the whole look and feel of your image. And then coming to the heaviest paper and the last variety of paper, which we have, it's only a minimally textured and it has a really, really high degree of whiteness, extremely smooth surface, but like the combination of a high gloss finish with the whiteness is perfect for black because it adds super, super depths and colors are reproduced brilliantly and details come out perfectly reproduced. It's really, really nice paper when you like contrast between your dark image and the super, super white paper. But as mentioned before, we also have canvases in our collection. And it's kind of a nod to the beginnings of traditional artists because back in the days, people not only painted on papers, but of course, mainly in the beginning on canvases. And um, we have six different canvases made from cotton and polycotton, and they all have a super unique texture. And there we also have a, a latest edition on there. So let's kick it off. We have a polycotton canvas. It's called Canvas Artists. It's the lightest one of, of, out of the whole range. It's natural, right? Has really, really beautiful texture. It, works for, it worked for us for in photo imagery. So beautiful one, versatile for many things. A similar um, canvas compared to the Canvas Artists is the Goya canvas. Similar grammage, both Kali Potton. Both similar natural white tone, but the Goya canvas has a satin finish. So something with a little bit more pop who needs that little bit shine on their print. Then the shiniest out of all of them is the metallic canvas. Similar to the photorec metallic, it's kind of the big brother or the smaller sister of, of the photorec metallic. It has this high gloss metallic finish on there. It's bright white. It's grammage wise right in the middle. It's poly cotton, so it's super flexible. You can actually use it on a DIY canvas and it underscores images and makes, again, beautiful colors pop movements and reflections work really, really well. And we actually got a TIPO award for this canvas just this year. We're really, really proud of it. It's our second metallic paper in our whole collection and it's, it fits. Whether you have a paper or a canvas, we offer them both with a metallic high gloss finish. Um, the next paper is the Art Canvas Smooth paper. It's a little bit heavier, has a natural tone, a little different surface than all the papers or canvases we had before, but not one to miss. Similar to the Daguerre canvas, again, heavier, different white tone, much, much brighter, but also a poly cotton canvas. And then our only 100% cotton canvas is our Cezanne canvas. It's the heaviest canvas of them all, has a beautiful natural right tone, and has something classy to it. Maybe something you want to try and just add your imagery a little bit of something else. Now that we've heard so much about our digital finite collection, why not look at our everyday photo papers? The everyday photo papers are a much smaller assortment. There's a basic line with universally usable inkjet papers. They're easy to use and more for like daily printing, ideal for everyone who does not necessarily need museum quality at home. So perfect for standard photos, poster prints and photo books. They have very good quality and provide an attractive price point. They have non-textured cellulose paper base and they have an inkjet coating optimized for photographic applications. They're comparatively 
thin and have a really, really smooth surface. And the H resistance is much lower because of that compared to the um, digital finite collection. We're talking about up to 30 years compared to 100 years. But again, this is for everyday usage. For somebody who does not need museum quality, but wants to have very good quality and does want to keep the memories stored a little bit longer and wants to make them look more beautiful for a longer time. And they're easy to use. So you can easily print them at home and create your own photo book, which lasts much longer to compare to what you might print at uh, other stores and service points. So which papers do we have in this beautiful range? It's compared to 29 papers in our collection, a lot, lot smaller, the range. We have currently six papers in there. We have two matte papers. We have three glossy papers in there, and we have another canvas in there. They're all relatively thin, as I mentioned before, so they range between 200 and 320 GSM. We have a paper which is printable on both sides, which is the matte fiber duo. We have a paper which has a pearly um, gloss finish to it. We have a really, really glossy paper, elastic paper, and a super light canvas, which is also easy um, to do and DIY framing and stuff at home. So perfect for everyday use. But as I mentioned before, we do not only create so many beautiful papers. It's important for us to give you as artists and creative, like a full service at hand. So you don't have to worry about a lot of things. That's why we do much more than just paper. Um, we have a teapot water print protect and authenticate range, which includes the Hanumula protective spray, our varnish, the signing pendule. We have our certificates of authenticity in there. We have Hanumula gloves, we have archival boxes, we have portfolio boxes, our colleague Alexander is going to launch our brand new linen albums tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. It's sure going to be a really, really nice thing when you want to gift someone your personal portfolio or art, which is really, really could be really, really meaningful. And all these things help to store your prints safely and handle the print safely. So we all know we have to be aware of temperature changes, humidity variations, air conditioning and uh, cigarette smoke. There's so many things we have to take into account when we're working with fine art prints. And these are the tools we give you. So it's a little bit easier. They're not 100% guarantee. I always look at them a little bit of like sunscreen, but they help if applied correctly and taken care of of the print. But next to all of these nice products, we also do a lot of other things, which our president already talked about in the session before. We offer my registry, my art registry services. So it's like a protection of your art online, which works in combination with our certificates of authenticity, which is available currently on our homepage. We have a certified studio program, which is now called a, an excellence program, where we certify print studios, train them, work with them together, include them in beta testing to make the whole fine art printing experience much more enjoyable, even if you don't print at home, but when you go to an expert and get the full professional fine art printing experience. Um, we offer for free, free of charge, ICC profile downloads. You don't have to worry about creating ICC profiles for each and every paper. We're, they're always up to date. We're always working with printing developers or printer um, printer companies, and we're always updating our ICC profiles, always ready for the new paper we launch. We also have a technical support available for you in case there's something you, you can figure out yourself at home. Happy to do that. We also have a dealer search on our homepage just to help you navigate around. As I mentioned before, we are available in 130 countries worldwide. Sometimes it's easy to get lost when there's so much possibilities around it. It's easy for you just click and search for it and you'll, you'll find somebody who has Hanwheel paper installed close to you. And on top of that, something we're really proud of, I'm really proud of because I help working on it too, is the Hanwheel app, which basically includes everything I've just 
talked about. It's everything you need in one place when you find a printing, when you start in your final printing journey, because we list our partners where well, we're talking about dealers are currently certified print studios. You can download your ICC profiles there. We have our social media connected to the app, similar to our news and blog pages. You get full support and assistance there, whether you're trying to figure out things by yourself with our step-by-step -step guides, articles, videos, FAQs, whatsoever. You can navigate your round, way around the app, look for your solution. And even if you can find an answer to your problem, no issue, because our technical support app is also reachable via the app. Easy, just take an image, short description or small message to our team. You get a ticket number, then you'll be helped within the next couple of hours. You can also share your own events with us and then we will upload them to the app. We have a list of our teachers which we are attending and or, or events which we're organizing and we're happy to share your events as long as they're around handing you the products or somehow related to what we're doing. Send them over via the app. We will check them at the headquarters and then upload them so everybody can attend and um, share it. Um, easy to download. I'll just share the QR, code, the QR code so you can scan it. I'll just leave it on there for a couple of minutes because I think the Hanimul app is, is really a one-stop option to get everything you need when you kind of maybe lost in finer printing and a little bit overwhelmed with ICC profiles or to discover, okay, which side is actually the one which I have to print on because with the map paper, it's sometimes difficult to tell which side is coded or not, or um, what did I wrong, did I do wrong with our, uh, the image files, like the app will help you a lot, I can promise. It's available in the App Store, it's available at the Google Play Store, it's for free, you can download it. And again, if you can find what you're looking for at the app, contact us. Our technical support experts are happy to help you there. Some of the functions are also still available on our homepage, so you can also navigate from there. But I would be happy if you, you would download the app and create together with us a honeymoon experience, because when we get your feedback, we can improve and we can make the app better so you like it again and there. We have a full circus. A circle, sorry, not the circus. <laughs> um, I talked a lot and we have a lot of products. Don't get overwhelmed by this because we have beautiful sample packs which have all the papers from the different ranges I talked about. We have a sample pack for our matte smooth papers, a sample pack for our glossy papers, the natural line papers. You can test print our everyday photo papers. It's really, really easy. They're available in two different sizes, A4 and A3+, plus, which is eight and a half by 11 inches or 13 by 19 inches for uh, the US market. And uh, if you think you've already sat on a paper, no problem. Um, we offer already small postcards. If you think like, I wanna share my portfolio with others, but don't wanna buy the big boxes, um, we have them for the everyday photo range. We have them, of course, for our digital fine art range with the most popular ones. If you think doing test prints is not what helps you find your perfect paper or your paper for the next exhibition you're planning, uh, we have um, small sample books. They're printed or unprinted where you can really touch the paper, see the texture. We have already some printed um, motives on there so you can get maybe some creative inspiration, what could work, whether your images look similar, works perfectly. Again, all our products are available in sheets and in rolls, like standard sizes, A4 up to A2, 17 inches up to 44, 60, 64 inches differs from each paper grade, but the main sizes are all available. And of course, all our print, protect and authenticate products. So the signing pen duo, the spray, the varnish, our certificates of authenticity. We have a whole lot to offer. And I think everybody can find its way around fine art printing and the Hanimula papers, whether it's with test printing or really starting and um, working on it. And that's it 
a lot of information. Thank you for listening. And I hope you learned a little bit about um, our fine art collection. Are there any questions, Travis, Carol? I, I'm sorry, I have, I have been answering as we go, actually, um, <clears throat> but there looks like there are a couple more. Uh, uh, as an instructor, it'd be nice to see the same image printed on the paper so that my students could actually visually or see visually uh, what the finished images look like on the same papers. Um, I think they're asking for a sample book with the same image on all the papers. Um, oh, okay. We, we don't have that, but it's practically what we're saying with the sample packs, like pick one of your favorite images and then print this one image on all our sample packs. The sample packs are not expensive. As I mentioned, you get them in all sizes, all our papers are in there. And sometimes you already have like a preference. You don't really want a glossy paper, so you can already like scratch these from, from your selection. So maybe this could be an option because we do not offer the printed sample book with only one image in there, but that's the way to test print. Yeah, uh, additionally, just to add on to that, I, what I do is I get an eight and a half, 11 sample pack and cut it basically, don't cut it, but separate it into quarters. I get four images, like a color, a black and white, a landscape, and then some art reproduction type of thing and just lay it four up on a single page and then print that image with the four images on everything. And then look and see what type of image looks the best on each uh, paper. I think that's that's really really good way. Uh, are there any other? Are there any other questions for now? Um, if there are, by all means, throw them into the Q and A. Uh, if we don't see some in a minute or two, uh, we will move on to a presentation with myself for that one uh, and with Joe Domeyer uh, based on sustainable fibers uh, in both tra traditional fine art papers and digital fine art papers and how they kind of kind of come together with each other. Um, but I do want to thank Evelyn for joining us in her evening, uh, seven hours ahead of us. So I appreciate it. Um, and thank you so much. If, if there aren't any other questions, then we will let you go have some dinner. Um, <laughs> and then we'll see everybody else a little later. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. It was a lot of fun, actually. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All, right. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.